On this episode of the Highlander Report, 1st Armored Division welcomes a new commander to the Highlander Brigade. Colonel Terry Cook hands over the unit colors to Colonel Chip Daniels in front of the 1st Armored Division Headquarters building. Here today stands a reminder of America's awesome determination to defend herself and this brigade specifically to kill the enemies of this nation in greater numbers and more efficiently than any other brigade in the world. It is our obligation to those who have come before us to not only maintain our reputation, but to enhance it. And I look forward to joining you on that adventure. Major General Sean B. McFarlane welcomes Colonel Daniels and his family. Although saying goodbye is part of Army life, so is saying hello. And today we say hello to another great Army family to take the reins of the Highlander Brigade. In time, the rosebuds will blossom, as will Mrs. Daniels' relationship with the Highlander Brigade and their families. Accompanying Mrs. Daniels are sons Grayson and Cad receiving brigade coins and daughter Lauren receiving flowers. General McFarlane praised Colonel Cook for his hard work and dedication to the division. But Colonel Cook attributed his success to the soldiers in his unit. I would happily storm hell in the company of these soldiers today who I really haven't the words sufficiently to praise, so I will not try. They know how strongly I believe in them, how strongly they daily demonstrate to the world that free men and women will and can fight. On behalf of 4th Brigade, 1st Armored Division, we'd like to welcome Colonel Daniels to the Highlanders and wish a fond farewell to Colonel Cook and his family. Reporting from Fort Bliss, I'm Army Sergeant Mike Grimm. And as always, that's your Highlander Report.